Hello, I'm Matthew, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Northern Virginia. Today, I'm going to show you how users can use the billing console to see which AWS CloudTrail and what type of events are responsible for your increased CloudTrail billing costs. Let's get started. For this task, log in with the AWS account root user credentials or as an IAM user who has access to the AWS billing and cost management console. After you log in to the web console, Choose the Account Management tab and select My Billing Dashboard. On the left-hand side, you'll see several different sections. Under the Billing section, choose Bills. This view can show your current charges by service, which is what we want to do. Under Bill Details by Service, we'll find the CloudTrail dropdown and choose it. This displays what the CloudTrail costs were for the month in question in each region. Let's find the region with the largest cost and expand that to see what is responsible for those costs. For this account, we can see that US East, the Northern Virginia region, has the highest cost. When we expand that region, we can see that there are approximately 7 million management level events described as free events recorded. Remember that with CloudTrail, your first copy of a management event in a region is recorded free of charge. Only duplicate copies of a management event are charged to you at the rate of two US dollars per 100,000 events. Next, we can see that there are additional CloudTrails recording management events in this region because the paid events recorded has a value of 14 million events, which works out to about $282.44 US. You can see that there are approximately twice as many events in this category as the free events recorded category. This is because I have two additional trails in this region. Because of that, I am billed twice for every event sent to CloudTrail. If you see under paid events recorded, that should tell you there are additional CloudTrails in this region and they are costing you money to record events which are already being recorded at no charge for you with your free trail. Pay close attention to any data level events that are being recorded in a region as those are not free of charge, even for the first copy. Data level events which are recorded by CloudTrail are certain Amazon simple storage service actions, such as get object and put object, and certain AWS Lambda actions, such as invoke. In this account, for the US East region, you can see that CloudTrail has recorded 30 million data level events for the month at a cost of $30.52 US. Deleting a cloud trail. Now that we have this information, if we know that this is an extra cloud trail that we don't need, we can go to the cloud trail console and delete it. After going to the CloudTrail console, make sure that you're in the correct region where the trails are located. Looking at the trails in this region, we can see the two additional trails. Now, select the trail. After we do that, we can see a trash can icon on the right-hand side of the console window. When I choose that, a warning box pops up asking if we're sure that we want to delete this trail. If we choose delete, the trail will be deleted. Once the trail is deleted, it will no longer be recording events, and that means you will no longer be getting billed. This will lower your CloudTrail costs. Turning off data events. Let's say that the reason that our CloudTrail costs have increased 
is because we've been logging data events on our S3 buckets, and we no longer want to do that. The billing console didn't tell us which cloud trail trail was recording data events. But if we go to that region in the cloud trail console, we can review each trail and see which ones have enabled them. In this account, we're in the US East 1 region, and I'm going to select a trail. If we go down to the data events section, we can see that the select all S3 buckets in your account is checked, as well as read and write. What this means is that every read and write operation for every S3 bucket in this account is being logged. For accounts with a lot of S3 buckets or a lot of activity in those buckets, the cost of this logging could add up. If we choose the pencil icon, we can modify what types of data events this trail is recording. If we want to turn off all data event recording, we can simply uncheck that box. But maybe there are still one or two S3 buckets that we want to have logging turned on for. We can choose Add S3 Bucket and enter the name of the bucket that we want to record. Then we tell CloudTrail whether to record read events, write events, or both. After hitting Save, only those buckets will be recorded. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.